It is predicted that at least 70% of the world population will live in cities uh, by 2030. The water demand or the demand on water supply will increase. It becomes very critical for cities like uh, uh, Tekwini to to be able to model the water supply and demand going forward as the population increase to see how you balance that. Durban, South Africa, Ithaquini, as well as the greater Phoenix area have similar constraints with water and similar concerns about preserving water. So we were able to flesh out a challenge that we could work on together around water. The ASU Cloud Innovation Center, powered by Amazon Web Services, is a partnership really between ASU, Amazon, and then also the greater Phoenix area. We are working using Amazon's Working Backwards process to solve challenges that cities are facing. We're able to create prototypes, and then we publish those challenges and the results open source on the website with the idea to scale those solutions to anyone in the world that's interested. As a fast-growing city, uh, Durban and Ithaquini are trying to ensure that they have uh, water resilience and are going to be able to meet the long-term water needs of all of their residents. So the water department is eager uh, to better understand how they can use their existing data uh, and create data analytics to understand where their water is going. In discussion with the key stakeholders from Ithaquini, they mentioned that 40% of the water that they were consuming was being lost. So we were able to implement all of these visualization tools that would interact with more than one data sources, a feature that they didn't have previously because all of this data was in disparate locations. But to put it into a Shana tool, it allows us to see the city in a very different way. We start seeing the water space as a value chain rather than just a final product that comes out of the tap. So that for me was very useful in terms of how it dismantles the whole data silos and the data sharing issues that we have as a city. From the perspective of allocating resources and decision making, I think Shana is really going to assist us because it puts information and data on our fingertips. You don't always have enough time to sit and analyze raw data. So if you can get a dashboard that can give it to you in a format where you quickly get what you're looking for, make the decision you need to make and move forward. So it, it's, it's changing our environment uh, for the better. What I think the Working Backward AWS process does so well is instills what I like to call public entrepreneurship in these individuals and gives them a sense of excitement to think in a new way that might not be normal and maybe might not be practiced every day in their organizations. The Working Backward process got us to that level of, of sort of uh, partnership and creating a, 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 a safe space to co-create uh, uh, together with the colleagues. It's had a, a huge impetus on the data journey that we've taken as a city.